Hello, it's been like a month, I think, or less, or two months. I don't know, it's been a long time. Uh, I've been busy, no excuse, I know, no excuse. But I'm back with the all too exciting opening of cards. Oh, I should tell the internet as well, so they know, in case the internet is interested. Okay. All right. <clears throat> what have we got? Saviors of Oldham. Class Legendary Quest! Oh, I like quests. I used to play the quests quite a bit. I realise I'm talking to myself at this point. Um, I'm okay with that. I have my uh, Real Pirates exhibition from the Portland Science Centre. Filled with milk. It says Motley Crew Grog uh, on the back. Well, I don't know how many of the people out there who sometimes watch the stream actually are interested in Hearthstone. It was the first thing I started streaming back in the day. Um, I had puppets, too, sometimes. That's right, I forgot about that. Um, but yeah, I don't know if it would be me talking to myself, but that's okay. Either way, I will just uh, open cards and figure out what's new and uh, play some Hearthstone. Okay. Quest. Summon 20 minions, reward Ram... Ramkahen Raw. Okay, I shall accept this quest and venture to Aldum. Has he got a like a crystal Gatling gun? That's something. Welcome to Aldum. Play 100 cards. That is an achievable quest. As quests go, play 100 cards is pretty much what I can do. Oh, I should spend. My gold. Look, I've been stockpiling. For me, this is a stockpile. 3,950. That's a stockpile. So uh, let's get some... Let's, let's buy Let's buy some packs. So we have packs to open. Now this is thrilling. This is thrilling stream right here. This is the kind of thing that I probably should have done before I started streaming. But I could turn it into a song. Like, no, I can't. I'm just going to keep buying them pack. Different pack. Another pack. More packs. Seven packs. Lots of packs. Hey, 77. Hello. Uh, you tuned in just in time to watch me click the buy button. I mean, I guess approximately 16 times. How's my math? It's 100 each. And I've got, yeah, something like that. Uh, and then I'll have lots of packs to open. This is my first stream in forever. So, sorry. Sorry. I had a couple of books due and construction. If you record audio in your house for a living, here are things you hate. Firstly, planes. And they decided to reroute uh, a whole bunch of jet aircraft over the islands where they wouldn't bother anyone. And I live on an island. And the second thing you hate is construction. And the house next to me has been doing renovations since December of last year. So uh, I am behind in the work. 42 packs. 42. What an auspicious number. I don't know why, but that number reminds me of something. All right, let's open some packs. Yeah. I kind of miss opening real packs. Do you ever play any collectible trading card games, 77? Like uh, Magic the Gathering or uh, Star Wars or any of those? And at least you can play a game with those. Back when I was a kid, I remember buying like Batman cards, I guess like baseball cards kind of thing, or like Rocky Horror Picture Show cards. I don't even know what you're supposed to do with those. All right, 42. Let's do it. Let's see what the uh, exploding animation is going to be. I feel like there's only so many ways they can make a pack explode. Desert Spear. After your hero attacks, summon a 1-1 Locust with Rush. Evil Recruiter. 
Battle cry, destroy a friendly lackey to summon a 5 5 demon. Well, lackeys were from the last expansion, so I know what they are. Arcane Flak Mage. After you play a secret, deal 2 damage to all enemy minions. <laughs> I think you're the only representative from the from the immediate family right now, 77. Bees! Bees! Okay, I quite like that card. Uh, choose a minion, summon 4 one, one bees that attack it. It, it. When I play that, I'll just imagine Oprah and her mouth opening and all the bees coming out. Uh, yeah, it summons four one one minions that will attack things. I quite like this. Pressure plate. Secret. After your opponent casts a spell, destroy a random enemy minion. See, it's very Indiana Jones. Look at that there. Beaming sidekick. Battle cry. Give a friendly minion plus two health. She looks happy. Desert spear. We've done. Ooh, rare. Hidden oasis. Choose one. Summon a 6-6 six, six Ancient with Taunt. I'm kind of an Ancient with Taunt. Or restore 12 health. Uh, and there's a very tropical looking Ent guy. Mm, tropical. It's still, it was only, it's still sunny out there. Well, sunny. There's still light out there. But I'm inside in a completely sealed room. Worthy Expedition, discover a choose one card. Oh, look, it's a Tauren standing on a bluff. They love bluffs. I got 40 of these, uh, so strap yourself in. <laughs> Plague of Madness, each player equips a 2-2 knife with Poisonous. Ah, look at them. I know they're uh, ferocious, but they look pretty adorable, those little kobolds. Kobold? Kobold. I don't know where the emphasis goes. Desert Hare. Summon two one one Desert Hares. Temple Berserker. That's a very universal mummy movie. Reborn has two attack while damaged. So that is a new mechanic. Reborn. I don't know what that does. Uh, oh, I think it just does that. Resurrects with one health. Okay, cool. New mechanic. Desert Spear. Anubisath Warbringer. Okay, looks very... Anubis, Anubis, Death Rattle. Give all the minions in your hand three, three. Cool. I like a good jackal-headed fellow. Boom. Epic, diseased vulture. I I'm sorry for the choices, vulture, that have led you to this diseased life that you lead. All that carrion. Uh, after your hero takes damage on your turn, summon a random three-cost minion. Cool. Nefeseret, Nefeset Ritualist. Restore adjacent minions to full health. Okay. Uh, I like the feathers. Notice the feathers undulating in the wind. That is a nice little graphical touch. Shadow of Death. Choose a minion. Shuffle three shadows into your deck that summon a copy when drawn. Oasis Surger. Rush, choose one, gain two, two, a summon, or summon a copy of this minion. Cool. Chick, chick, boom. Chick, 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 boom. Golden Scarab, battle cry, discover a four cost card. He reminds me of someone, this Scarab. He looks almost like the head of state. Beaming sidekick, had her already. Holy Ripple! Mmm, that sounds like a fantastic flavor of ice cream. Um, yeah, I'll just have two scoops of Holy Ripple, please. Deal one damage to all enemies, restore one health to all friendly characters. Cobold Sand Trooper. Ah, they move in single file to hide their numbers. Death Rattle, deal three damage to the enemy hero. And we've got the hair already. I'm gonna end up with like 50 hairs and uh, spears. It's fun to close with Divine Light. Ooh, that sounds really good. Thrasher. Never set Thrasher. Whenever this attacks, deal three damage to your hero. Vile Fiend. Oh, that's not nice. Whoa! Legendary. Cool. I like the legendary animation. It's very exciting. You can open... I've opened like 70 packs of cards and not got any legendaries because statistics lie. 
Uh, Dark Pharaoh Tekan. Battle cry. For the rest of the game, your lackeys are 4-4. Four, four. Mm, that's cool. Most lackeys are like 1-1, one, one, so that will make them a lot stronger. Warlock only, huh? Might have to make a Warlock deck. Hooked Scimitar. Not a spear this time. I have a hooked scimitar. Fantastic. Now I want ice cream. I meant to have ice cream. I was going to go and have ice cream for dinner. Instead, I got distracted by the dog, who looks kind of like furry a scoop of ice cream, and then got milk. So, you know, it's uh, close. Sandwich. Oh, now I'm hungry again. Naga, naga. It's one of those words that I read a lot and have never said out loud. Change the cost of spells in your hand to five. Had him already. Frightened Flunky. That looks very, uh, that looks very Scooby-Doo. Oh, it's a ghost. Taunt, battle cry, discover a taunt minion. Okay. Had them. Pressure plate, had that. This will get quicker as we've already got most of the cards. Injured Tolver. Taunt, battle cry, Thrill da th deal three damage to this minion. Uh, Primrose Frost, storming hard. Uh, yes, I will guess if you disappear, I will guess that you your house was picked up in the storm and deposited uh, Wizard of Oz style somewhere else. I hope that doesn't happen though. Restless Mummy, rush reborn. Ah, that mummy looks cute. Reminds me of a certain infant. Bone Wraith. Taunt and Reborn. Body Wrapper. That's quite a body she has wrapped up there. Uh, Battle Cry. Discover a friendly minion that died this game. Shuffle it into your deck. She is serving bandage realness. Plague of Madness. Each player equips a 2-2 two -two knife with poisonous. We've had that one already. We have. Ancient Mysteries. Aquamarine glyphs glowing. Draw a secret from your deck. It costs zero. Fish Flinger. That's a pun on Fish Finger. Battle Cry. Add a random Murloc to each player's hand. Everything's about food. <laughs> Totemic Surge. Give your totems plus two attack. Salhet's Pride. Rawr. Death Rattle. Draw two one health minions from your deck. Cool. Cloud Prince. Battle Cry. If you control a secret, deal six damage. Cloud Prince, huh? Had the evil recruiter. Plague of Flames. Plague of Flames. Hey! Have <laughs> All caps. That is how you should always announce yourself. All caps. Uh, I love the Merlock noises. Uh, we make them around the house. Um... All too often. <laughs> At the slightest provocation. Temple Berserker. Uh, I haven't been swimming in the beach much lately, but every time I'm in the beach, it's all Murloc all the time. As I... <laughs> surface in and out of the waves. Sand Hoof Waterbearer. Wow, that looks heavy. That looks like a really impractical way to carry water. Like, really impractical. It's like one, two, three, four, five, maybe six jugs, just with a leather belt. There's got to be a better way. At the end of your turn, restore five health to a damage-friendly character. Faceless Lurker. Taunt, battle cry, double this minion's health. It doesn't look faceless to me. Like, that's a face, isn't it? Isn't that a face? Looks like a face. Three people are watching the stream, and all three of you have said hello, so there's no faceless lurkers out there. And you know what? I appreciate that. Hooked Scimitar we've had. Ooh, new one, though. Wasteland Assassin. Tell you what, they're really form-fitting bandages. I mean, I guess there's not really any other kind. Loose-fit bandages is a occupational health and safety. What do you call that here? OSHA situation waiting to happen. Jar Dealer. Ooh, I do like jars. Death Rattle. Add a random one-cost minion to your hand. That's basically my mother. She has... Um, I grew up drinking out of a certain kind of gl glass. My whole childhood. Um, and it turns out it was like cheese spread. Is that cheese spread in America? I know you have cheese whip. Craft cheese spread. 
and it was that with the cheese taken out obviously recycled the jar and we had like 10 of them true story epic puzzle box of yog sarum cast 10 random spells love it cat would like that she loves a good random spell chart or list i don't because i feel like it usually goes badly for me Katut Defender. Look, at he's, he's, he's not forgetting chest day. Taunt, Reborn, Death Rattle. All right. We've had the Lurker, had the Recruiter, had the Thrasher, had the Sand Trooper. Jelly Jars. Oh, right, like Jam Jars. Yes. But see, now I feel like that's almost like you're at like a, you know, you're paying $15 for a cocktail in on Park Slope. Uh, in Brooklyn and you're drinking out of a jam jar has that moved out now have we not drink serving everything in mason jars anymore that was irritating I must say sand oh I'm missing some sand wasp queen that looks painful golden scarab we've had the others we've had I've seen people use cleaned out pickle jars oh no no that's bad I don't like that I don't like that. The thing with the um, cheese spread jar is that it it was like perfectly... Like it looked basically like this without a handle, right? This is what it looked like without a handle, a bit smaller. Because it had this weird lid. It wasn't like a jar lid. It just kind of suctioned on. So it looked pretty much like a glass once you were done. There was no threading at all. See? Yes. Nice. McDonald's to get pickles. I gave Sebastian a pickle today. He likes pickles. Conjured Mirage. Taunt. At the start of your turn, shuffle this minion into your deck. Okay, Mogu Flesh Shaper. Cool. Shape that flesh. You do you. Impractical Water Bearer. Had them already. This is so my speed tonight. This is about the most I can do. Open packs. Mermy. That's like the other one, except uh, looks like his they have some issues. Sandstorm Elemental. What a good face. Hyena Alpha. Battle Cry. If you control a secret, summon two, two, two hyenas. I feel like I've seen that person on Reddit. Posting in the men's rights section. Grand Mummy. Ah. That's cute. Oasis Surger we've had. Frightened Flunky. Uh, there's a particular brand of Golden Circle Sweet Spiced Gherkins, and they taste very different from pickles that you'd get here, and I love those. I love those uh, from my childhood. On a sandwich? Mwah. They're really like bitter, uh, really really sharp. Um, fantastic, fantastic. I, I don't even know if you can still get them. I remember for a while we couldn't get them in in Melbourne, only in Perth. So I used to bring over like six jars from Perth. Earthquake, deal five damage to all minions. Then deal two damage to all minions. Oh, I guess there's an aftershock. Makes sense. Mischief Maker. Oh look, straight up doing the. Indiana Jones. I think about that a lot. The Indiana Jones bag of sand and the idol thing, because often I have the baby lately and trying to like, you know, swap the baby and keep him sleeping. I'm usually going do 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 in my quietly to myself. All about the baby. Yeah, <laughs> don't no, don't leave the baby in the cave. He's he's in his enchanted forest. Perfectly safe. Oh, I can see him right here. Happily asleep. Wasteland Scorpid. Subdue. Set a minion's attack and health to one. Don't mind if I subdue. There will be puns. This is Hearthstone. They're like puns. Phalanx Commander. Oh, another legendary. Love it. Activate the Obelisk. Quest, restore 15 health, reward obelisk's eye. Nice. Anyone else read Asterix comics? Armored Goon. 
Hired goons. Whenever your hero attacks, gain five armor. Fantastic. Looks very spiky. Dune Sculptor. Uh, I was reading something in an American accent for work, and I came to that and messed it up and had to redo it because I said Dune instead of Dune. Uh, Titulus Rex. What did you loved? I missed what you loved. Hey, yeah, well, if you disappear or go, um, it'll just be this still excitement of opening cards, maybe playing some games. Oh, Asterix. Yeah, I love those comics. I learned a lot about history. I mean, very accurate, obviously. But I did. I was very young reading those in the library, and I was like, learned about Romans and about all sorts of stuff. That's still like my canon Caesar. Julius Caesar is Julius Caesar from Asterix comics. Serpent Egg. Summon a 3-4 Sea Serpent. I got two legendaries. That's good. Oh, Tortolan Pilgrim. Is that like a tortoise lady pilgrim? Oh, you love your toys, don't you? Uh, ah. Battle Cry. Discover a copy of a spell in your deck and cast it with random targets. Cool. I was doing a, a poor uh, labyrinth old lady thing. I've got a Labyrinth shirt on at the moment. Actually, I don't know if you can see it, but it says Hello! On it. Had the sculptor already. Okay. Spitting Camel! <laughs> That's a great face. At the end of your turn, deal one damage to another random friendly minion. I've ridden a camel. A couple of times. They certainly are um, entertaining on the way up. Whenever this attacks, deal three damage to your hero. We've done that one already. Living Monument. That looks kind of like a blue Hellboy. Oh, wait. Got the wings and the cool. That's a kind of a shitty card. Ten cost, ten health, ten taunt. That's boring. Had the Defender. There are so many cards in Hearthstone that you see when you open them and then you're like, no, I will. Ah, bees! Uh, you're like, I will never use that card ever. Penance. Deal three damage to a minion. Uh, imp Balming. There we go. Our first card-based pun for the evening. Imp Balming. Destroy a minion. Shuffle three worthless imps into your deck. Alright. I gotta fix my posture. It's been a long day. Long week. Month. Year. Desert Obelisk. Pit Crocolisk. Oh, I like a good Crocolisk. Swarm of Locusts? Ooh, I got a golden one too, so the golden ones are always animated. Bees! Bees! Uh, the, uh, yeah, golden ones are animated. I always dust them. If I already have the card, I just turn it into gold. But uh, I still like looking at the animation a bit. Overflow? Cool. Getting through them. Totally covered in bees. We've had Armored Goon. We've had Cloud Prince. This is going to be the first one where we've had them all. Oh, no. I haven't had that one yet. Pharaoh's Blessing. Give a minion 4-4, Divine Shield, and Taunt. Love it. Dogs with bees in their mouth, and when they bark, they sting you. Pharaoh Cat. Ooh, gold as well. Animated. Look at that little pink tongue coming out of the Pharaoh Cat's mouth. Nice. Sinister Deal. Discover a lackey. Clever Disguise. Add two random spells from another class to your hand. Eddie Izzard. Oh, yeah! I remember. Uh, how, how was... how? I remember that. How, how was it? He. I've, I've seen him live once. Many, many years ago. Wild Blood Stinger. Summon a minion from your opponent's hand. Attack it. I'm a bit of a um, I like I like my comedy. If I can, if I can handle it, I like my comedy. Small venue, small venue. Unknown comedian, totally fine. Can all be a surprise to me. Prefer that than paying all my money in the world to see a comedian on a giant stage. 
with notable exceptions, such as Eddie Izzard, who their level of uh, funniness is worth the scale. Uh, didn't ask for your money back. Fantastic. Yeah, he's pretty pretty amazing. You ever see his mar his uh, documentary, uh, Eddie is Running, where he ran like 10 marathons, 15 marathons, having never run a marathon before? That was intense. Third row. Nice. Well, see, then it doesn't matter that it's a big venue. Bees! More bees! Wrapped golem. That's new. At the end of your turn, summon a 1-1 one, one scarab with a taunt. Yeah, he's fantastic. And he does shows in French. And, uh... Um... As a incredibly monolinguistic individual the idea of being able to do stand-up comedy in two languages blows my tiny mind brazen zealot oh you flirt penance we've had already four languages shit um pit crocolisk yeah the marathon thing was crazy I was training for a marathon at the time when that documentary came out. So, and I, much like him, my feet were not happy with the whole marathoning thing. I didn't run like 10 in <laughs> 10 days or 10 weeks or whatever he, crazy thing he did. But even so, my feet were like, you are not mechanically good enough put together for this. I have completely flat feet. Absolutely flat. Temple Berserker has two attack while damaged. You're learning a lot about my feet tonight. Uh, Spanish and German. Wow. Oh, Narnia, first exposure. Cool. Battle cry. Destroy a friendly lackey. Death rattle. Return a random enemy minion. Uh, got all those. My first exposure to Eddie is that I think was actually in a sort of an independent film, not that old, uh, where he played, I'm going to get this wrong, he played like, not Buster Keaton, Charlie Chaplin? Did he play Chaplin? I don't remember. Something like that. I have to remember the name of that film. Bizarre Mugger. All right. We've had the spitting camel. Warwick Davis. <laughs> Love Warwick Davis. Oh, yeah. I love comedy albums like that. I grew up listening to Bill Cosby comedy records, uh, which now is, like, a little unpleasant. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. I remember before I was so young and I memorized like two or three Bill Cosby LPs. Um, I guess because they're clean, you know, like he never really swore anything. So uh, the cat's meow. That rings a bell. It could very well be. They are. They are funny. They are great. Oh, cool. I didn't know you spoke French. Awesome. I've had all these. These are all repeats. We are getting repeats, people. Uh, to Ross, my brother, whom I slept with. Yeah. Uh, I used to, the, the Noah thing, now I'm doing Bill, Bill Cosby bits, but the whole thing about Noah's Ark used to kill me. And then there was things that I didn't understand, too. Like, they talked, he did all these bits about American football that just made so little sense to me. <laughs> uh, what's a cubit? Yep. Um, oh, well, thanks for your handy Googling. Yeah, the cat's meow. Tell me what year it was. Was it 97, Hab? 90, 97? Flame Ward. Hunter's Pack. That's new. Add a random hunter, beast, secret, and weapon to your hand. Don't worry if you've already moved off the page. 2001. Too early. Yeah, that makes sense. I saw it in a pine forest with a screen, big screen outdoor cinema where they showed independent films. 
That's where I saw it. I remember there were lots of mosquitoes. Yeah, it had a good cast. I remember almost nothing about the actual film, though. Embalming Ritual. Ooh, new one too. Saket Sapper. Oh, only nine packs left. Um, oh, right, right, right. So you hear the pop? That's really cool, Primrose Frost. That's awesome that you hear that. Uh, that's really cool. That's great. Yeah, I listened to those records a lot. I guess it was the it was the only comedy. Like, you know, when you're a kid, you just got the records when you're that young that are there. Uh, and it was the only comedy. There were Bill Cosby comedy records. Um, oh, and but there were tapes of The Goon Show. Uh, cassette tapes of The Goon Show. And, oh, there was a couple of Spike Milligan records and a few other things. But, yeah, it's amazing how, like, th as a adult, you might not think about it, but, like, those 30 records that you have will shape could, I don't know if that's the case now, uh, but certainly back in the day, shape the uh, intellectual leanings and the uh, of your of your kids. Cat's the same, like the the twenty books that her dad had on the shelf, and then it turns out he hadn't even read a whole bunch of them. <laughs> uh, which is the same as my parents when I was talking about these great books that I I love because they had them on the shelf, and they were like, "Yeah, someone gave us that. I never even read it." Shadow of Death I had that one already. Cassette of Alan Sherman parody songs like it was a 300-year-old family Bible. <laughs> That's cool. That's great. Yeah, we had some comedy, like, compilation albums too, uh, which I loved. Quicksand Elemental. That's new. Give all enemy minions minus two attack. They're all like, does your chewing gum lo lose its flavor on the bedpost? And uh, all these kind of ones. Oh, we also had... um. God, this is this is like, old uncle, old uncle comedy hour. We had Benny, a Benny Hill cassette tape as well Ooh, Alice in Wonderland yeah we had um, story time which was like an English part work series Stephen Wright <laughs> that's cool uh, we've had all these repeats I'm getting reruns of cards reruns of cards Had them all. Oh no, two Morden. That's new. That's some serious armor. Serious armor. Stephen Wright. Yeah, I've seen him live. Uh, he's weird for a whole show. <laughs> he's great, but the one-liner thing for a whole show, it's uh, certainly you have to get with the pace and just settle into it. I like any comedian who was ever on Dr. Katz, so that includes Stephen Wright. Generous mummy. Oh, I missed reading that out. Only two packs left, people. This didn't even take that long. Did not take that long. And this is the point where I look up like what the theory craft and the meta might shape up to be and realize that I don't have any of the uh, good cards that they want you to have from this expansion. Okay. Sir Richard. Huh. <laughs> the Red Wonderland makes sense uh, I had kind of a shit day when I was recording at like 3am this morning because the baby woke up at 5 it wasn't going well uh, and I was feeling bad about it and I was like oh, I, I, do, I am reading stories into a microphone and I did used to love listening to those story tapes I would love to do like an I, I guess they don't exist anymore but I would love to do like an old like you can read along in your book you know it is time to turn the page when you hear a gopher scream like this, ah! I would love to do one of those. I should just put that into one of the audiobooks. <laughs> and the editor will just have to remove it. Play 100 cards. A fairy chime? Sure, yeah. Uh, we had Star Wars ones where it was like R2D2 noise. A He-Man one where it was like a sword, like shing. All right, new cards. This isn't where I parked my mount. Ah, looking for his car. Nice. This is where I go through and read the flavor text because there are rules. 
right before C's. Ha! Alphabet joke. Um, easily do that and send it to an elementary school. <laughs> I mean, teachers now, oh, some of them are older, but I'm sure if it was a young teacher, they'd be like, what, what, what even is this? Surge is up, dude. He's a surfer. Amazing that it's been hidden given the 20 foot tree ant splashing around in it. That is true. Does seem unlikely. It's a high five followed by a low tide. Ah. Overflow. Cool. Um, you're 20 and you know what I'm talking about? Oh, okay. All right, sweet. There you go. I stand corrected. <laughs> That's a cat thing? Did I miss something about a cat? You can catch me up. Unseal the vault. Huh, that's a nice card back. Ah, uh, meta. The appropriate dishware for stressful situations. Let's see what they did there. Desert spear. Remember I had like seven of those? Goes on the right next to the desert spoon. Etiquette joke. Oh, look. It's a trap! Our taste buds can't repel flavor of that magnitude. Everything the sun touches is ours so long as it's already dead. Lion King reference. Love it. Uh, I auditioned for the Lion King musical in Australia. Um, I got called back for a for one of the hyenas. So I, I spent, I don't know, five minutes doing hyena laughter for three or four very, very bored looking um theatrical creatives and then never heard from them again <laughs> good things never come in swarms eh, that's probably true but i did get a callback which honestly that's the only musical i've ever had a call like proper big musical i've ever had a callback for uh yeah all my musical stories are like, I almost got this. I was almost the MC in Cabaret. I was almost the, I was almost in Rent. Uh, I wasn't really almost in Rent. I just auditioned for it. The tame Bloodstingers would politely invite your minion to tea. That's a nice joke. Ancient Panda and Proverb. He who is without secrets lacks flack. Cool. I'm not saying it was aliens, but it was totally aliens. Ah, I see. They are going for the aliens meme history channel. Is attacking feet a cat thing? I've never had a cat attacking my feet. I've never had that. Uh, I must say. But I've only had like four cats in total, ever. Or well, lived in houses with four cats. None of them were very attacky. Come for the magic show. Stay for the sand castles. Cool. In West... Uh, in West Cloudadelphia, born and raised, flinging lightning for the rest of my days. I see what they're doing there. The Cloud Prince of Bel-Air. Five mana foot long. Nice. Subway reference. Put down the box, Reno. Uh, Tortolan made it to the desert. I don't understand that. What they're saying there. Not sure about that one. I love cats. I love every kind of cat. The uh, actual original. Some paladins really light it up. Cool. Oh, I missed one. I missed one. I missed one. Somewhere. Oh, no, I looked at that. Maybe I didn't right click on it. Sand Wasp Queen! Ooh, see that wasp, watch that thing. Dig in the Sand Wasp Queen. Is that, an, that's a, is that a song reference that I don't understand? Uh, probably is. Oh wait, was it a Queen reference? Could have been a Queen reference. Hmm. Maybe not. Subdue, like humility, but more humiliating. 
Nice. Pride cometh before the mole. Ha! Ah. No one knows whose ancestor he is, but he's still upset that you never call. Ah. <laughs> As a joke, I never get to use. It's true. You should definitely work that into conversation more often. Definitely. Life hack. Sneeze near a pharaoh. Oh, life hacks. I have slight PTSD just from reading the word life hack. Okay. Getting there, everyone. Activate the obelisk. A one-eyed, one-stone, towering, purple minion healer. We're talking about our uh, comedy tapes. That was one of the songs on the comedy tapes. It was a one-eyed, one-stone, towering, purple minion healer. One-eyed, one-stone, towered, purple minion healer. I'm playing Hearthstone with a purple minion healer. Sure looks good to me. One eye. Guess what? We're getting a new cat. Hey! Topical. I would really like it if people would not write fic about actual real people. What? What'd I miss? Oh, you're just complaining about something icky. Uh, you mean like slash fic? I mean, that is, that's what slash fic is. Well, I suppose they're characters. But, you know, they do actors as well. Ah, uh, Michael Sheen. Yeah, well, that happens. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not a fanfic guy, so... But back in the day, I do seem to recall reading, like, Neil Gaiman and Alan Moore slash fic. <laughs> Briefly. <laughs> Before backing away. Speaking of <laughs> speaking of good omens. Holy ripple. I still prefer the taste of banana fudge ripple. Hey, they made the same joke we did. Uh real person fic, imaginative tales of the es escapades of living individuals. Fair enough. Makes sense. This is what happens when you don't give a sincere apology. Yeah, right. Yeah, um, it is odd. Used to caring for his team. Mind you, that's what the gossip magazines do to make a living. It's just make up stories about real people. Maybe based on one photograph. Mightiest of Mousers, enduring in kingship of the upper and lower cat tree. Conqueror of the red dot, the all-wise Katshepsut. Nice, pharaoh cat. Oh, have I got two of them? Yeah, one gold. Plague of Madness, don't bring a candle to a knife fight. Just like a candle. Just like a kobold brings a candle to a knife fight. That's the Azeroth way. It's me, Togwoggle. All right, cool. Got it. I'm hooked. I'm hooked on a scimitar. Here, you dropped this. Making new friends takes skill. Mirror. Premium muggings at a discount price. Get them while they're hot. They're lovely. It's not really advanced shamanic magic. You just draw nasty eyebrows on them. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait. I missed one. I missed one. I missed a rogue. A, an errant rogue. No, I clicked on that. I guess I didn't right click. Oh. A lot of people blame the parents when a totem goes bad. Hmm. I'm confused. Anyone? Anyone uh, want to? Almost always heavily pornographic. Ugh. Yeah, that, that's a little you. Um, anyone want to? Uh, anyone understand this card description? I do not. Do 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 do. Doot, 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 doot. Hmm. Nope. Don't get it. 
it is rare that uh oh eh, could be shake it shake it like a kalimdor fish <laughs> uh are you beyonce's here's he's here to shape he's here to you up i understand that reference because cat made me watch a crash course on saturday night live when i moved here very important work ah uh, nice reference to the much used meme this is fine so what's in the sack something sinister okay it's a deal cool i'm starting to think the lackeys aren't evil just taken advantage of bold choice tough to do skateboard tricks with four legs true i mean i find it tough to do skateboard tricks just in general I bought a skateboard only a few years ago. I never had one as a kid. And then I was in San Diego with Kat at this gigantic university campus, UCACD, it was like University of San Diego maybe. And it was pretty much empty except for a few people who were just skateboarding around, like reading their phones or like writing a paper while skateboarding. And I was like, that's amazing. And so I went and bought a skateboard. But then I remembered that I can't skateboard. It's basically up on the wall at the moment. Uh, yeah. I should probably get it out at some point. I don't think I have good enough health insurance to teach myself to skateboard as an adult. With your complexion, Imp Balm is a great demonizer. Ah. Uh, all right, I'm going to dust this. Everyone enjoy the animation there because I want that 100. I want that 100. What does the fox say? Ah, oh, yes, could be. He'll get that League of Explorers and their little Murloc too. Nice. Wizard of Oz. That makes sense. Frightened Flunky. Some people just aren't cut out to be supervillain material. That's kind of lame flavor text, as flavor text goes. You look really hurt. You could use a friend. Yeah, it does seem odd. It does seem odd. Life Separation Anxiety Syndrome. Armored goons. Armored except for non-critical areas such as head, torso, fists, and thighs. That is true. Also known as an ancient copy machine. <laughs> uh, sure, I'll carry the water. And the food. And the tents. And the cursed monkey paw. Oh, that's nice. I like a positive card. All right, getting into the. Oh, I saw that one. Okay, into the neutrals. What's in the jar? Could be anyone. Unlike other mummies, they rolled him up with rice, sliced cucumbers, and soy sauce on the side. Mmm, that sounds nice. Must be hungry. Anything food related. The only one who likes bees. Fantastic. The scent of fish lingers on the fish... <laughs> oh, good tongue twister. The scent of fish lingers on the fish flingers, fish fingers. Meow. Stay wild. Take a candle. Cool. The Nefer set are great. They'll always make sure their friends are feline fine. Feline fine. Cool. Use a light abrasive to buff blemishes away, but use a heavy abrasive to debuff problems. Okay. These things go from adorable danger noodle to my face is melting all too quickly. Danger noodle. Were you expectorating another bad pun? <clears throat> he's back, he's angry, and he's here to wrap things up. I feel like writing this flavor text is a fantastic job. Dreamed of becoming a style fiend, but fell was never in season. <laughs> uh, you know wake candle. After the court, their dessert has. <laughs> yeah, she's mummified, but her money hasn't dried up. <laughs> 
Fair trade is for noble-minded suckers with dignity and honour. Fair enough. Conjured Mirage. What you see is it, it Isis set, like what you get. Alright, cool. She keep she uses pickle slices for the eyes, keeps them well preserved. Nice. It uses only eco-friendly bones from free range humanoids. Alright, I'm gonna play a game soon. Let's open these. The obelisk of the stars can hide an entire land from prying eyes or zapparando. Do Americans say rando? Like short for random? Is that a thing? Long time lurker, first time attacker. Turning, turns out he's really good at herding cats. Cool. They'll never see me coming, what with my glowing body, eyes, and daggers. Did anyone see the Mummy movie where Universal was like, we don't need all the comic book movies like Marvel, we can make our own Universal Monsters universe. The Mummy will be our first brilliant installment. And then I don't think it went that well. Yeah. The Tom Cruise one. I was at Universal Studios last year and they had all this stuff about it. And I was like, I don't really think anyone saw that film. It's a shame. Looks like they put a lot of effort into The Mummy. But... Mm. After they get to a certain size, it doesn't matter if they're poisonous or not. True. The end result of one of the greatest rap battles of all time. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Pit, not pet. Yes, don't pet the crocolisk. Bad idea. Exactly zero people saw it because it was horrible. <laughs> yeah. Some dogs will bring you a bone or a squeaky toy. This one brings war. It was a stupid idea, though. Not as in the film, but the idea that they could have, like, a DC or a Marvel cinematic universe based on their monster movies was crazy because those monsters have become public domain. Like, mummies, like... Uh, you know, all that stuff. Zombies, etc, etc. Wolfman, it's not... Yeah. Some dogs bring you a bone or a squeaky toy. This one brings war. Um... <sighs> Was it, what, how many mummy films were there with um, Brendan Fraser? There was like a last one where it was like a... Cause I think a friend of mine... Maybe I'm getting confused. I feel like there was like a, a mummy film and like a guy I know... I wouldn't say, I shouldn't say a friend of mine because he's not... Uh, he's kind of an asshole. I shouldn't say that online. I'm not even going to finish this story now. No one. I'm talking about no one. Definitely talking about no one. Uh, a person I know who is... Uh, in a big film and was gonna, like there's going to be six more films and now I'm going to play this character because I'm playing this character's son and then never again because that's how movies work alright what I miss I missed some cards Lindsay Ellis another actor Jai Courtney who I do actually is a friend uh he played Bruce Willis's kid in Die Hard film, and it was the same thing. Apparently, his contract was like, there's going to be a bunch more films with him as that character. And I don't think that happened. It's going to happen either. She uses pickle slices for the eyes. Oh, we've seen that one. All right. There are three movies plus a spin-off movie. Maybe it's the last one that this guy... I encountered was in I had to work with was Jet Li in one of them did I make that up I'm thinking of another franchise entirely uh, Scorpion King that's right uh, the Mummy Ride at Universal is fun though where it's like the film set and they're getting attacked it's pretty cool Jet Li was in the Dragon M so that's one of them. Cool. Okay. That is all the cards. 
Disenchant. Done. Well, I should play some... What's my quest again? Play 100 cards. I think I can play 100 cards. I think that's something that I can do. Uh, but what decks do I have? Like, what What are the decks? Do I have enough cards to make anything useful? I should build one around that um, Warlock deck. And I have, like, a Warlock deck. Some Warlock legendary. New one. Alright, and I'll make it just the new cards. Oh, so I guess I need some lackeys, right? So I'm going to do that. I should get some lackeys. Lackeys. Yeah, this is probably not going to be a competitive deck, but it will have some new cards in it. And that's what's important. Now, what did this one do? Are the lackeys? The rest of the game, your lackeys are 4-4. Four, four. Hmm. Alright, I'm going to see what the other cards are from Oldham, in case I want any other ones. What else have we got? Yeah, I'm going to put in less helpful cards, just because they are um, new. And that's fun. I should keep the lackey one. No, that, that's a new one. I can do that one. We can do better than that. Something new. That's cool. Swap the top card of your deck with your opponents. Why not? Huh, Mirage, that's weird. What else have we got here? Alright, done. That looks like fun. Let's do it. There was a time when I saw a lot of movies. Big dumb action movies at the top of the list. Uh, Brendan Fraser, Man Crush. Brendan Fraser's great. Did you read that article? There was an article recently-ish about like his career. It was kind of sad. Like, yeah, there was some some crap, some crap. He was great in Scrubs too. If you saw him in Scrubs, it was rough. Supreme Archaeology. Though, uh, it made me smile because it, he's like, I gotta shoot some arrows in the article and goes and shoots arrows. And I used to, um, at my my dad's house when I was a teenager, we used to, I used to watch TV and shoot arrows across the pool into a target. Uh, <laughs> I was, it is a good way to unwind. I agree, I agree, Brandon Fraser. Uh, Scrubs? Yeah, yeah, that'll make you cry. All right, let's break out the supreme archaeology shall we what could go wrong in this carefully crafted deck it wasn't you saw i'm an hour into the stream almost 20 seconds away and i'm finally playing a match oh yeah okay Cool, 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 cool. Let's 
this is probably not going to have the most fantastic of card synergies, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> cool. Um, yeah, I, I streamed a bunch of Hearthstone when I first started. That was the first thing I started streaming uh, with puppets back in the day. Um, but yeah, it's fun. All right, I'll do that, that. Draw a card and take two damage. Yeah, let's get some more cards. Um, what was I going to say? Streaming something. Nah, nothing, nothing important. Nothing important, obviously. Let's discover a lackey, shall we? Deal one damage to a minion. If that kills it, draw a card. Yes, please. Um, yeah, I used to play Magic the Gathering, like real Magic the Gathering, with cards. Uh, and then, um, weirdly enough, I bought my brother some cards and then bought him a game. And now he is super into the game, like online. He plays it hardcore. Like, I look at his Steam and it's like 748 hours. Something like that. He says it's because he leaves the game on while he's doing other things. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Mind you, I think a lot of that was when he had a newborn kid, and I do understand now that if you have some time to yourself, that's about how much brain power you have for like. So, and also, it's short. You know, you can just play like a couple of matches rather than like a proper long story game with more commitment. All right, battle cry: destroy a friendly lackey to summon a five-five demon, and this one has a death rattle, so that's good too. Let's do that. Shall we? Might as well attack first. Oh, that secret could do something, though. I don't know. No good. Okay. If it has a yellow... Oh, it's not a lackey, though. Ah. Uh, I see. Good point. Is that a lackey? Yes. All right. Um, yeah. I mean, health is a little simpler than magic. Um... Man, I really played a fair amount of Magic with the cards. I spent a lot of money on cards too, which I left in Australia when I moved here. Uh, they're heavy. Too much to bring. Uh, a guy who I worked with was like a toured the world and was like a grand champion. So we used to occasionally talk Magic the Gathering. He was like, yeah, you know, watching him play was, I don't even know what he's doing basically he'd just be like and then I tap this and then I tap that and then I do this and then I do that and now I have functionally infinite mana and you lose and you're like cool good job we have a phrase in the house which is don't tap my mana or mana uh, because when Cap was taught, when she was first playing Magic the Gathering, the uh, helpful men, of course, who were teaching her, kept reaching out and turning her mana, you know, to show her what to do. Which is a really great way to teach someone. <laughs> so it has become shorthand for, uh, let, let me do it. Don't mansplain. My collectible trading card game. I'm not doing terribly so far with this deck, but uh, who knows? I don't really have an end game here. No! My defender defends no more. Hey, it's Pharaoh Cat. Hi, Pharaoh Cat. How you doing? You good? Ooh, we're gonna do the swap the top card of your deck with your opponents. That's exciting. Hehehe. <laughs> 
I quite like this reborn mechanic. That's cool. It's nice to have someone who keeps popping back up again. Like one of those things that you hit and they bounce back up. Those things. You know what I'm talking about. Spirit of the Dragon Hawk. Barely had a chance to live. Yeah, let's discover a spell from another class, shall we? That doesn't really serve any function, but um, uh, I have no idea what's happening. I played Magic a long time ago, but never this game. It's pretty self-explanatory, but I understand playing at this speed. It's like, what the fuck is happening? Not that I'm, I'm even playing fast. Uh, I mean, it shares a lot of things with Magic. You've got your know, cost of your card, uh, your sort of attack, and your health. Uh, unlike Magic the Gathering, you're not like tapping money. You just have mana crystals that build up. Now I'm explaining Hearthstone, but yeah, that's basically it. Death Rattle does something when it dies. Taunt. Uh, I think it's called Taunt in Magic the Gathering as well. MTG players are often very shitty about Hearthstone in that it's like it's too random, not enough skill. Which I don't think, it, I mean it is random, but so is Magic the Gathering uh, on the draw. Regency Solitaire with two shirts. <laughs> Aww. Yeah, that was fun. Because the one thing I need is more cards. Yeah, uh, I played against someone recently and they had this thing that they did where, oh, I can't remember the mechanic, but it's this thing where they were like, oh, you know, and I draw my whole deck and every time I do that, it, felt, it just was this thing where in one turn they had about 25 goes and killed me. And you're like, huh, I guess that's a thing that can play out sometimes. Um, when I first started playing Hearthstone, I used to just make my own decks, never looked up anything ever, which I know is ridiculous, but I didn't. I just never Googled anything uh I just played with cards that I liked. And then eventually I was like, I probably should look up some things. And now, of course, uh, I look up decks and you can copy the deck string and just auto-compile the deck, presuming you have the cards. I'm barely paying attention to what I'm doing. I'm surprised I'm still alive. Well, I've got two death rattles here. And that's a kind of a bad one. So I might twisting nether this on the next turn. Yeah, I think that's my play. I think that's my play. Ugh, that... Spectral Cutlass is killing me. Bye. Where's my legendary that's supposed to make all my lackeys into five fives? Hey? I built this whole deck around that. Built. Built makes it sound like I put more effort into it than I did. But must still be here. One of the nine cards left in my deck. Avenging Roth. Ah, I'm gonna die. Uh, 
Okay. Hey, didn't I get a quest? Didn't I get some quest? I feel like I got a quest, like a new quest. Oh, this, summon 20 minutes, 20 minutes, 20 minions. All right, let's do that, Hunter. Let's do that then, shall we? Let's build a Hunter deck. 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 All right. Yeah, so I sort of auto-filled it. Um. Let's put some new cards in then, shall we? Done. And we will call the hunter what? What should we call this hunter? Uh, I also have no idea what's going on. I'm just here for the people. And what fantastic people you are. Uh, well, people, help me name this deck. It is a hunter. Stu Stu? Disco Stu. Hunter Stu doesn't advertise. All right. Done. Stu it is. Let's play. <laughs> Stu is going to go on to to obviously, you know, top the uh the ladder. <laughs> Unseal the vault. Summon 20 minions. Ramakahan Raw. I don't even know what that character does that we get from the quest, but sure. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Rush for a change of links, beast. Spring paw with rush. Gotta get myself right out of here. Rhythm and melody. Rhythm and melody. I should play this quest. So if you play a quest, it's pretty self-explanatory. If you do the things for the quest, you get something. So what does Ram Kahen Raw? Hero power, give you a minions plus two attack. Is that it? That seems like a lot of... Minions to play for a pretty shitty reward. Eh, I guess it's pretty good. And you have to play minions anyway, so it's not like... Um, how did Big Audio Dynamite show up? <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, good call. Um, I think because... Oh, yeah, because the minion had uh, Rush. It, it said Rush on it. That's all it took. Minion said Rush. <laughs> And then, apparently, I was watching the music video show in Australia called Rage in my head. And uh, big audio dynamite it was. I only know two of their songs. I mean, Rush and the Globe one. That's it. Did they have other songs? I'm sure they, they did. But I do not know what they are. Big audio dynamite. Now there is a band that I know fuck all about. I don't know anything. They're British? I'm pretty sure he's British. Uh, that's it. That's all I got. And I remember at the time thinking he kind of like looked a little malnourished. That, that like, you know, should get some more vegetables. That That's about all I remember. Add a random hunter, beast, secret, and weapon to your hand. I remember the clash. Cool. 
While I'm name dropping, a member of the Clash did the orchestration for a production of Godspell I was in. That was pretty cool. As the director was friends with him. The Clash, like the cure. The the is very important. Uh, <laughs> six degrees. Uh, when I'm shooting the shit uh, on these streams, I often end up being like, I was, uh, I auditioned once for a thing that had a guy, and he was in other things. Uh, which is pretty much like hanging out with me in real life. So that works out. This is uh, a very real world. Um, card. After your opponent plays three cards in a turn, summon a 6-6 six, six rat. I think that says a lot about life. If you control a beast, gain plus one durability. Don't have a beast yet, but I pretty soon I will, because there's that Lynx. He's not in the definite articles. Yeah. Uh, six degrees of indie rock. Cool. Um, yeah, what was the name of that band that you were um, supporting, like a Kickstarter or a Indiegogo or some kind of thing, and you were all excited? Was it like, I want to say like Serve, Sidewinder, Servewinder, Sweetwater? <laughs> I was so close. So I actually, uh, I bought a bunch of software from Sweetwater. Um, uh, Sweetwater? Yeah, I think it's called Sweetwater. Um, uh, Sweetwater. <laughs> I bought. I bought. Um, uh, like stuff from there. I bought a program called RX, you know, expensive for software for me, uh, and another program um, that I use Studio One to record audiobooks with and stuff. And they call me, they call me like regularly. I get a message every two weeks being like, hey, it's Andy from Sweetwater. Uh, I just want to uh, make sure you're, uh, you're, the software is fine and you're, uh, you know, if you have any questions, any, any uh, uh, you know, need anything, give me a call. It's weird. Like, every time I order something on Amazon, I don't expect to have, like, a personal follow-up call. It's strange. I guess they know that if it's a professional purchase, they could end up with someone who's going to buy a ton of stuff, which is helpful. I don't know how retail works. Shearwater. Cool. Uh, <laughs> equally beneficial. Nice. <laughs> yeah, also, they keep sending out a big fat catalogue. Uh, I'm like, don't waste the paper on me. I'm not going to buy a bunch of music equipment this week. And if I do, I will look it up on the internet. All funded. That's great. I like things that are funded. My mics. That's great. The Falcons. First time I remember hearing that was during a Robin Williams stand-up bit, talking about stand-up routines that you listen to over and over again. A Robin Williams uh, stand-up bit where he said that when newscasters say the Falcon Islands quickly, it sounds obscene. So he was like, today in the Falcon Islands. <laughs> I don't know why, it just stuck with me. That particular bit. Apparently, this is the um, the evening of um, <laughs> doing comedy bits, <laughs> like it's the mid '80s from from stand-up CDs. Yeah, uh, he goes on to say that it sounds like something your Italian waiter would talk about, like the the fucking islands. Uh, turned in the book and immediately left to go count birds. <laughs> Counting birds is important. Sweetwater wants your repeat business and your word of mouth recommendations. That makes sense. Uh, yeah, they're very excited, but I'm like, leave me alone. What book is this? I thought this was a musician. I know, I realize musicians can write books. And authors can make music. I'm just, uh, I'm out of the loop. I am not doing very well. I'll try and, like, win a match. <laughs> the 
long story. Particular bird of prey. Cool. How's my quest coming along? Eight of twenty. That's disappointing. Hey, misdirection. Oh no, squirrel versus squirrel. Two squirrels enter, no squirrels leave. That's sad for those squirrels. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Cool. Caracas. Caraca, caraca, caraca. I don't know how to say that. Walk like people. Here's, here's my bird trivia. Stop me if you've heard this one. You can't stop me. You can't stop me. Uh, when they were designing Big Bird, uh, Carol, the guy who played Big Bird, uh, he was in the suit backwards, so his legs hinged backwards like a bird. That was part of the design. He had like a monitor and he was backwards, so he had to do everything backwards, so his legs like hinged backwards like a bird. Uh, in the early, when they were, you know, doing pre-production for uh, Sesame Street. And then they looked at it, and they were like, it barely reads. Like, <laughs> we're going to all this effort, have to do everything backwards uh, just for this effect, and you don't really notice. So they're like, that's stupid. Let's just, uh, I'll just spend the rest of my life with my hand up in the air uh, being Big Bird. But at least not working, walking backwards. So that's something. Total jerks. Work together to destroy penguins? That's not what I want. I don't want to kickstart destroying penguins. I withdraw my pledge. Well, Stu, Stu, uh, didn't, uh, Titleless Rex, Stu didn't perform so well. Uh, I'll be honest, not, not great. Let's, let's see what else we can make from this new deck. From these new cards. The few cards that I have. <laughs> IT guy. Uh, I don't remember. Oh, this is from... Wait, this is from... Uh, what we do in the shadows? Serious? Which I haven't seen yet? No? You say IT guy, all I can think of is the IT crowd. Yes, what we do in the shadows. I guessed it correctly. Yeah, I haven't seen the series. I've only seen the movie. Oh, the movie. I've seen the movie. Seen the movie. Have not seen the series. Have seen the movie. Yeah, I saw it. It's, I mean, it's an old movie. Oldish. Oh, yes. No, I know that. I do, did remember that. I just kept thinking about discos too. Oh, that's nice. Um, yeah. Cute animals gotta eat animals. If the animals that they're eating are cute, I mean, what are you gonna do? All right. Uh, so anyway, I should um, make a new deck that isn't stew. What else have we got here? What else is new? That quest didn't really work out. What about this then? The reward is the obelisk's eye. Let's do that then, huh? Let's do a priest deck. Why not? Alright, start thinking about the name for a priest deck. Oh, there's a pre-made one. That works out. The pre-made ones are usually terrible. That's okay. Questing Explorer. If you control a quest, draw a card. That's kind of cool. I might create that. I'm going to craft that. Like it. Not going to craft that. Cost 1600. Uh, whenever you summon a minion, set its health equal to this minion's. He's got. He looks like he has a low body fat percentage. He spends a lot of time doing crunches. Vladislav. Vladislav it is. I gotta replace this card first with something else. 
something else. But I actually want to win a game, so I'll pick something good rather than something from the new thing. What might be helpful? Alex is sometimes helpful to have. Let's go for five cards. No, that's not good. I can put that one in. That's pretty good. Night Titleless Rex! Uh, like a puffin being munched by a predator. <laughs> good night. Thanks for naming the deck. Burly Shovel Fist. I really should have picked that as a stage name. I don't know why I thought I could get into acting with Heath Miller when I could have been Burly Shovel Fist, like Dusty Bottoms. Rip Torn. Just pick a card, Heath. Just pick a card. Hmm. Hmm. No, I should do one from the new set. That's why I'm playing. Let's do that. Actually, no, let's, let's get that monitor out. He, he's, a, he's a monument out. He's a crap card, but he's got to have his uh, time in the sun. Activate the obelisk. Don't think so. This deck is definitely called Vladislav. Vladislav. All right. Okay. This is this is it. This is going to be it. We're going to win. It's going to happen this time. I know it. I just have a good feeling about it. I've got a feeling about it. Vladislav's going to come through for me. For us. For everyone. Oh, we're playing against a Murloc. <laughs> Try it on the next full moon. Good advice. <laughs> Let's play that quest. What do I have to do again? Restore 15 health. Uh, okay. Cool. Northshire Cleric, a classic card, used a lot. I Priest is my least favorite class, I should say. My least favorite class. I dislike Priest decks. I dislike playing them. I dislike playing against them. Do not like them. Healing is irritating. Just extends games on forever. And they're often quite finicky to pilot. Good. Healing people is good. Healing is good. Because it helps with my quest. Pom-poms. There needs to be more pom-poms in streaming in general. I should get some pom-poms. Good idea, Primrose Frost. I like the way you think. Ooh. Oh. Ooh, his toenails like an organ. That's exciting. Sorry, I got distracted by things that you can click on. My bad. So I think I can do this. Kill him. And then put down this guy who deals four damage to himself. Then use this and this and heal everyone and get another quest thing. That was pretty good. I'm not good at this game, but that was pretty good. I must admit, that was a good little sequence. It's early days yet. 
so I shouldn't count my injured blade masters before they're hatched. Ah, I'm out of beverage. My motley crew grog. If you can read that, it's got a skull and crossbones on it. Okay, what should I play now? What is what is the what is the right play? So what I usually say to Cat am I playing Oh, fourteen Hearthstone is board control. As in don't go for the you know the hero but uh try and keep control of the board. Yeah. Oh no, my super buffed Northshire cleric got turned into a frog. It happens. No point in wasting that one. Or that one. Oh, I should have played that thing, because if you control a quest, draw a card. I got my quest! Everyone, I got my quest! Hero power, restore three health. If you target a minion, also give it three three. That's great. That is a pretty solid uh, hero power. Love it. Thanks for your help, everyone. That's exciting. I'm doing okay this time. So far. Who knows what craziness they're going to have. Oh. oh, that's perfect, because that card deals damage to themselves. <laughs> Our opponent saw which way the desert wind was blowing and hightailed it out. You can hug every quest. We won! We won! Fantastic. And I'm halfway to my uh, play 100 cards. I'm gonna keep going because the baby's asleep. I have tons of work to do. <laughs> what better way to spend my time than playing Hearthstone? Oh, I just realized I have more beverage. I have this Michael Bublé, Sparkling Water. Thank you. It was a significant achievement that will be recorded in the annals of history. Holy ripple. Oh, that makes me want ice cream. What's the et etiquette on stopping a um, stream to go downstairs and make ice cream? Do I have to leave like a cat here or a dog or something? I don't know how that works. Um, bubbly is weird. It's delicious. I like a unflavored, uh, flavored, but a a uh, unsweetened soda. It's not really soda. Sparkling water, natural flavors, which is mostly beaver butt. If it says natural flavors, it's often uh, taken from the scent glands of a beaver's asshole. I'm not making that up. That is sometimes the case, but not always. Because there are other other ways to make natural flavors, but I still think of beaver butt every time I see natural flavors. It is natural. That's true. Standby card. You're right. I do. I need like a back in five minutes. I don't know which flavor from Rose Frost. I looked it up, and I was disappointed to discover that it's not as widespread in use um, as I thought. But um, vanilla. That makes sense. I do need a standby card. People have a BRB screen? They do? Uh, I may stream, but as you you know, because you watch my streams, I have no fucking clue really how any of it works. People also have the, like, you know, they have the emojis for the channels, like the little custom. I don't even know how I do that. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Give a minion plus two plus two. Add more arms to your hand that gives plus two plus two. That's kind of cool. Extra arms. I could do with extra arms. Yes. 
that card scavenging a hyena, gotta watch out for that because it can get very powerful very quickly. Very powerful, very quickly. Timber wolf, way to show up and ruin everything. See, it's already a 7 4. Do I have any removal? Do I? No. Damn. Oh, that sucks. Let's at least get taunt up. Maybe I won't. Get that scavenging hyena right to my face. My face. Vanilla, like the vanilla ice cream I have downstairs. Oh, ice cream. This is your ice cream. Delicious ice cream. So soft and sweet. I don't have a minion to give anything to. I feel like I haven't, haven't thought this through. Haven't thought this through. If you bring back an animal for us to see, we'll forgive you for treating ice cream. <laughs> I mean, I can put a cat on this chair or Lumen on this chair, but if I put a cat on this chair, Byron will immediately jump off and you won't see him. If I put Lumen on this chair and go get ice cream, I'll come back and it, the stream won't even be going because Lumen will have like eaten through all the cables that power the internet and my computer. Uh, that's probably the most likely thing that would happen. At least I got rid of that stupid hyena. Half rhymed? Uh, what rhymed? Did I rhyme? Did you rhyme? Where is rhyme? Some of the time. Sea cream. Ah. I see. Oh, it's the wild blood stinger. You summon my hench clan shade quill, and then before he's even out on the board, you're already attacking him. Did I die already? Did did that happen? Did I die already? Did I? Did I? I mean, I'm gonna die basically. Oh, I got my obelisk eye. But I don't think that actually helps much of anything. I'm still going to die. I think. But I, I, I don't know. Like, I might last like one more turn. That's kind of impressive. I made it one more turn. That's something. With the injured blade master. Speaking of Lumen, uh, I'd like to have her around while I'm streaming. I would like that because if I'm streaming for like a couple of hours and like now when Cat isn't here, uh, I'd rather her to have some company. But if I had her in here. I feel like she would just go crazy and try and eat everything, as is her way. Hmm. Hmm. People talk about their dogs curled up lovingly at their feet, just being like a dog. Whereas with Lumen, though she is wonderful, it's like, is there anything on the floor? If there is, she will destroy it. Okay, I did not win as Lattice Love. I did not win uh, at all. Uh, but I did with one match, which is what I said I was going to do. So it's 9.38. I should try and do some more work. I don't want to, but I should. Uh, go and do some more work with ice cream.
So thank you, uh, Hab, Primrose Frost, 77, The Departed, Titleist Rex, everyone who was watching. That was really fun. I uh, really enjoyed that. Um, uh, I'm going to work at 9.30. Uh, oh, well, lately I've been like working like 8 till 3 or 4 a.m. because uh, the construction isn't happening at night in this house next to me, and I have to record a fair amount of audio, uh, and the construction is ruining it. So, fortunately, I've been uh, working all night, which sucks. Uh, yeah. But yes, I sure work. It was fun. Dad Dreamer 428, did you just show up? You haven't said anything up until this point, or was I not paying attention? Uh, yeah, going to work is, is, is like, I'm only going over there. I realize it's a green screen, so none of this really um, means anything, but I'm just going like two meters in that direction, two meters over there to work, to record. Uh, yeah, is what I'm doing. But that was fun. Dead Dreamer had to leave. He's back. Topsy turvy world uh, because I'm going. Thanks, everyone. That was really fun. I won't leave it so long this time. I know. I left it too long. I left it months because I was very busy with book. But there's no excuse. I can carve out a couple of hours for important streaming times. Very important. By the way, uh, PC Gamer came out with their 100 uh, top games list in this month's PC Gamer. So you know what that means? It means it's basically been like a year, which is uh, troubling. And I've only done like 40 games. I want to at least get to 50. I've got to get to 50. 50 games. So I'll do her story sometime soon. Good night, everyone. Uh, I will have fun recording. It will be quiet, um, hopefully. See you all later. Bye. Uh, how do I turn this off? Night 77. End stream.